Femi Adeshino, many controversial statements, cries out, I am sorry, it is the burden of being a presidential spokesman. <laughs> you know, Femi Adeshino has been saying many things, and when Nigerians really look at it, some have even called him an imbecile. I'm sorry. Some have called him bastard, all kinds of names, because he speaks like someone without wisdom. He speaks like someone who has no sense. I mean, this man was a, 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 a paper editor, and um, then if you compare his statement then, they were more rational, more diplomatic, more, um, you know, very, I mean, between, you know, not one-sided, far left, like he is doing right now today. And Nigerians have not relented in explaining and expressing their mind that you are such a disappointment. We expected more from you. Even from the very south where he's from, he has even, you know, abused somebody like, uh, 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 what's it called now, Chief Olushe Sanjo, he has called him all sorts of names, that Olushe Sanjo is against Buhari, is this, is that. A lot of things. And as the message keeps getting to him, he's crying out that it is the burden of being a presidential spokesperson. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Subscribe if this is your first time. Let's get all the details. Femi Adeshino, many controversial statements, cries out, it is the burden of being a presidential spokesman. Femi Adeshino, the special assistant on media and publicity to President Muhammadu Buhari, is in the news again. And as it has become the norm for the presidential media aid, he is in the news for all the wrong reasons. This time, the presidential aid contradicts and contrary statements with what he has been saying, made in an article he published a few days ago again. See how he had been sent there are a statement saying, see how they are being sent to God for their crime, he said. In the article, Femi Adeshino described those Nigerians who have not seen what Buhari is doing in the fight against insecurity as pathetic and most miserable souls. He said that is why they are dying like flies. This is Femi Adeshino speaking. These are some of the controversial statements he has said. He said those who are challenging his principal to go after the Boko Haram and bandits with the same drive with which he goes after sectionists are fools. Are you listening? To be fair to Mr. Adeshino, the job of media spokesman for the presidency, he said is a difficult one. He said he cannot please everybody. He was employed by his principal and his position is to be unfair and reasonable. His position will be unfair and unreasonable if he begins to criticize the very person who brought him into that position for which Nigerians are seeing him. His job and duty is very difficult and there is burden on him as a presidential spokesman. He needs to make the public see the president in a good light. That is his job, the presidential media person. The media is a big thing these days, and it is the hallmark of where the next generation and where most information are disseminated and received. And so it would be wrong for me to join the many catalogs of Nigerians who do not see what my principal is doing. President Muhammadu Buhari is doing a lot, and I wonder why Nigerians do not see and pick on the few points on which he's working on. Strongly speaking, the attitude of Nigerians to unwaving loyalty and making sure that they see to it that my principal is, is, is criticized in office is not part of my job. I am loyal to my job and I have to ensure that my job is done properly. Trigger happiness and joy on Nigerians to make them see. Sometimes this does not come very well. It comes in a hard statement, but I mean well. So that is your Femi additional saying that he means well, low. the job of a presidential spokesman is a very difficult one. So people do not know, and so they just speak anyhow. This is him, oh. they, they don't understand what is going on. They are just speaking anyhow. Eh, blah, 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 blah. This is what is happening. Anyway, my people, now so the matter, they reach us, so say people don't understand what in job mean. A job is very, very, it's a very, very, very crucial one. It's a very tight one. He's doing his best. He's doing his whatever to ensure that Nigerians get this, but Nigerians are not understanding him. Nigerians are just, you know, criticizing him. Every opportunity they have, they criticize him. And he does not think that is the way forward, blah, 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 blah. 
Well, if you're a presidential spokesman and you need to speak for your principal, be careful what you say because... Be careful what you say because the words you are saying now cannot be retrieved. They can't be taken back. Remember that is like a broken egg. Once you break the egg, that's it. It's gone, it's gone. You can't pick it back together and start putting back the shares. The words you've been saying, not only just to Nigerians, to elders, and you say it is the burden of being a presidential spokesman. If something is becoming a burden, it, say, it calls for serious, urgent attention. If it's becoming a burden, it means that there is something that needs to be done so that you do not lose yourself in the midst of all, all of this. For if you lost yourself, that is the height. You have even made it worse. So why not stand up to the truth? And defend the right things instead of speaking. Why not be, you know, that person? That is to tell you that human beings change. Oh, human beings, oh, change is a very constant phenomenon. If there's one big thing you must understand in life is change. That's why you don't just judge a book by the cover and just say, ah, eh, it's like that. So this is what it, no, 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 no. You'll be making a mistake. Ah, ah, human being. Ah, ah. Have you heard? Of, hmm. You've not seen anything. You've not seen anything. Human being. Is it not human being we're talking about? Uh, hey, listen, guys. Unless we begin to tell ourselves the truth, we'll be deceiving our, our, our very own selves. So we'll be deceiving ourselves. We need to tell ourselves the truth and say it as it is, without fear of favor, if truly we want to see betterment in all of this. Because all that we are talking about, Mary Gorandin, if we do not say the truth to ourselves and stand up for what we believe, you know this oppressive government will overthrow us. I'm telling you, and I lie not. This oppressive government, they are after the interest of their self. They do not care what happens to others. Oh, no way. No way. They do not care. What they really care about is what, what next? What next? Uh, how do I get this? What next? That's, that's the point. That's what they are after. Not because they genuinely care about the people. There is no such thing like genuine care. Look at, for instance, the amount that people use to get the presidential nomination interest form. So can a teacher go and get such a form? So how do you want such a teacher to be able... I mean, the person has all the wisdom it takes, but he can't achieve it. He or she can't. Why? They've made it practically impossible so that he remains a subordinate. Guess what? Bottom. Selfishness. Leave us a comment. We really love to hear from you. Please don't forget to like us, share, subscribe. Click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news. God bless you. Bye for now.